Bonneville's what put my dad on the map, and it's what gave him his name and, and where he started all of this. My dad never got the official land speed record. He went 406 miles an hour in 1960. He was the first American to go over 400 miles an hour. But he broke on the return run. Some of these people come out here year after year to go one mile an hour faster. They go one mile an hour faster, they're happy. To go out and hopefully do what we're gonna try to do and be the fastest guy, it's gonna just be sensational. Just thinking we can go out and just dust this thing off and you know kiss some babies and, and go on home, it's definitely not that easy. All these people that are here, they want this probably equally as much as I do. Danny Thompson, we came out here to break a world land speed record at the Bonneville Salt Flats 2016. Five hundred and eighty-two days without Bonneville Salt Flats. Nice to be back. I started racing when I was nine years old, and uh, was fortunate enough to do pretty well and win a championship at nine and ten in quarter midgets. And then my dad forbid me for racing. And when I was 18, I left the house and I started racing motorcycles. And eventually my dad and I started getting back together and I started co-driving with him in Baja. I don't remember, 99 or something, I started racing Bonneville again and was fortunate enough to get in the 200 mile an hour club, which 200 mile an hour, we're trying to run 400 and something now. So you think, yeah, 200 is pretty easy. It took me five years to get in the 200 mile an hour club. It's a pretty prestigious club and it's an honor to be in there with my dad. And hopefully we can get up there and be in the 400 mile an hour club and be in there with my dad too. So that's, that's what I do. That's all I know how to do, that and build race cars. Now we get to go at seven in the morning, so the course should be way better. It's a little, it was a little soft today because of all the, the sun and pulling the water up out of the out of the salt. The motors are running a little bit better because it'd be a little cooler. You know, some people say it didn't sound good, but the day they'll tell us whether it had a flat spot. Or not. So this is seven years worth of work that just came to almost to a head. Tomorrow, if we get if we make a return run tomorrow and come back, then you know, then I'll be then I'll be pretty happy. I wanted to go faster, but you always want to go faster. Now we just gotta impound and do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Yesterday morning's first pass was a little shaky. You had some butterflies for sure, because it mean it'd been 585 days, almost two years since we got to run. So there was a little bit of anticipation of what the how the car was gonna drive and and the and the track was wet. Danny? I'm good. Stand in it, bro. Good drive. Good drive, bro.
Mickey Thompson makes the quality, best, number one Bonneville tire that there is out there. They performed really well. That thing at 400 miles an hour, they were bomber straight. To finish his work, that's special. And for me to do it, for Danny Thompson, for the Thompson family, for all of these guys, I mean, I, I can't even describe the emotion that, that, that all of that churns up and everything. This means so much, and we got this part done. I mean, that's, to me, that's serious stuff right there. Yeah!